So for me now, I like build a timetable mm -hmm. and set when it when it's time to do everything like nine to ten months and so forth. So during my time, I've been I've been stressing a lot. Mm -hmm. My mother told me that I need to relax mm -hmm. and just take one step at a time. Cal is one of 58,720 students across Jamaica who are registered to sit this year's CSIC examinations, which began on July 13 and culminate on August 4. Another 16,184 students are registered for CAPE subjects. New measures had to be taken to prepare the students for the examinations this year due to the early closure of schools as the country tackles COVID-19. We journeyed to the Marcus Garvey Technical High School in St. Anne to learn about the steps they took to offer students all the support they need leading up to the examinations. Like all schools across Jamaica, most of the classes and revision exercises for students at Marcus Garvey Technical High School were moved to cyberspace in March. Before the school was reopened for final CAPE and CSEC exam preparations, most students were being engaged in online classes on platforms such as WhatsApp, Zoom, and Google Meet. So we strategically looked at our curriculum, decided on those things that would be touched again in the next year, and then we made some strategic decisions. What new information would be delivered? What old information would be needed? What is it that the children would see again? And what we did was decided that we were going to concretize their foundation and not deliver too much brand new information because we did not want to have a very huge gap between those children who for no fault of their own could not go online and those children who were more fortunate to have their work done online. Then we have those students that are in situations that are great. Their parents are supportive, they were online all the time and they're ready and rearing to go. These students are paired with other students that may have challenges, so the peer tutoring is happening as well and the peer support. For those students who could not be engaged using online platforms, non-virtual options were employed. We ensured that we had print-based material in addition to the online classes. And then what we did as well was to have telephone conversations with those students. For those who required much more than academic support, steps were taken to offer the necessary psychological and emotional assistance. So we know that there are children who are in, um, economically challenged. We also know that there are children who have gone through significant emotional stress. So we have also empowered our staff through online training platforms, through other conversations on how to give support when someone comes to you and says to you, my situation is not perfect, I'm going through this. And so we really have called in our HFNE teachers. We have seven additional teachers who are trained guidance counselors um, to support our four trained guidance counselors. And we're providing all of those avenues to be able to create an oasis in the midst of this pandemic. With all the steps that have been taken to equip the students with the knowledge and support they need, it is safe to say that those sitting CAPE and CSEC this year are more than prepared to ace their exams. I'm very confident in it because as a mother and a sister, don't fret, just do it. 